welcome back to the channel and as you can tell from the flags we are in europe dgp2 europe this is the first event of three in europe we made it on the long travel day thankfully and we're dry right now because they got this sweet like canopy thing on a whole one but it is raining outside so we'll see how that goes honestly i think this is the future we need way more of this onto her tea pad is dry guys yeah. it's like that's gonna on, be interesting they awesome. got top tea pads we'll see how these hold up on the holes that don't have the covering but this is super nice but we're here at coco let's get into it hold on right now all right we got 436 feet nice fairway ob on the left side and the right side but the right side's probably impossible to reach unless you uh pull the wall shot you don't see in your life the green is very unique though we got a big mound green basket on top of it slope off to the right and skip potential off to the left i think people are going to mostly be throwing a hyzer and trying to stick it and not have the skip but we might try to throw some straight shots too i'm going to go with my venom and see what we can get going with this If that skips, if that sticks, it'll be good. If it skips, it's, oh, it's dead. Perfectly and thrown it's and gone. still OB. I think that's why I need to try a straight shot. Yeah, I think that the, slope, if you catch the right side of the slope, it's just going to hit, roll away. If you catch the top of the, like the flat pole, right. it's going to skip OB. I think if you're not coming down on that hill, right. you, you can kind of like check on it. So yeah. that, that's going to be my goal. Let me see if I can hit it a little flatter. I've got a tailwind. Oh, but you almost went OB. You almost went OB, right? It's a little low. First throw of the day. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a straight off shot here and try to kind of push it just oh. right of that evergreen tree. And then hopefully it's a straight skip that goes to the basket instead of a left skip OB. Oh, it's so close. No eyes all. Wind kill you. Kill you. Oh. This might be impossible. Not quite that low. Need a little lift. That's that one more. Oh, jeez. Yeah, the, the skip on that hill. <laughs> There's gonna be so many rollaways when people throw a perfect shot, or seemingly perfect shot, and then it's just gonna roll away 100 feet. I thought that upshot might be kind of tricky too, to try to get it to stop before, the, before it goes too far. Too high, I think. Stay right, mm -hmm. man. I'm I'm loving that OB lap. Ooh, almost came stick. All right, I gotta try the forehand once. Maybe it's a forehand roll. <laughs> roll. What about just roll up the hill? I went roll up the hill. Did you? Mm -hmm. It's a wall. Yeah. I parked it the one time I did it. Yeah. Huh. Get wrecked. Did the exact opposite. Also, shout out to Joey. We got a film guy for today, so. Super we'll nice. see how that goes. Let us know in the comments if you guys prefer having someone behind the camera so both Goose and I can be in the frame <laughs> instead of having one of us behind. So, yeah, for sure. Well, I'm 3 for 3 I'll be on the left side, so hopefully I get that thing out tomorrow. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this condition's all brutal right now. Practicing for the worst. Yeah, that's true. Two hundred meters, six hundred sixty-three feet. Paul floor. We got OB on the right side, trees on the left side, which I love. That we're gonna see that more on this course. You have kind of natural OB on one side, and then like actual OB on the other side, which is really nice. Uphill the whole way, and then kind of a pinched and sloping green. So the weather is not holding up either. It's still, it's still pretty bad. It should let up though, hopefully. Also, folks, if this outfit right here looks familiar from coverage on yeah. Friday. Right. It's because this man's rocking uh, one pair of clothes for the week. We had a little little situation with the baggage. My <laughs> luggage is in a different country, so hopefully I can get that before then. But if not, thanks to Gooseman for hooking up with the, uh, <laughs> with the long sleeve. All right. You need some more height, though. Yeah. I think it's really... The issue it's pretty steep slope, so I want to be past the I want to be past the upslope because that the upshot gets kind of sketchy if the run up is so oh, true. different. If you air past that though, you could go into the woods. Pretty it's easy to go west into the woods. Before. Well, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's a weird wind though. Yeah, 
It's also, you won't be able to tell maybe on the video, but this is one of the most beautiful quals I feel like we've played in a while. It's and, amazing. Uh, it's gonna look like, it might look like trash though, because of the weather. <laughs> but it's also on a, it's on a ball golf course, but it does not feel like it. I feel like for the most part. Tons most of, of the holes all. Plus great, great fairways from ball golf. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Oh, it. I hit a gap. That's going to be good. I think it's actually perfect. Yeah. I also had to buy new shoes because my shoes are in my other luggage. So we'll try out the Solomons today. It's all Gore-Tex though, so that's kind of nice. See, I got over that hill, but I think I might be in the woods. Might be in the woods now. Also, we'll, we'll one wet tee box in. Honestly, really good. Not bad. Can't I think it has fun. really good grip and it's soaking wet, so. Yeah. We'll take that. So far. And these uh, little structures they built, top tier. They yeah. look great. Also, a quick shout out to Morton. Coming in clutch. So clutch. Super nice. All right, from the side slope, see what we got. Come on, crosswind. That'd be all right. That side slope is wicked next to the bathroom, though. Yeah. We can quite make it. Definitely need don't, we don't want to say it, but Joey did outdrive us, so, you know, good shot, Joey. <laughs> My shank through the tree backhand. Turned out to be perfect. It's like 100 feet better than your, your other shot. That's crazy. I don't remember my full shot, actually. <laughs> this is nice. I can, go, I can go stand still for it and then swing, I think. I should probably go one up forehand into the green. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can throw it's a actually... forehand uh, 50 feet short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna be trying to get pars. There's a little bit here, there's a huge side slope too, so uh, Ezra's upshot actually turned out I'm pretty well. I'm in the well. circle. Suck on that, guys. Yeah, I think you got a favorable roll. Got it. <laughs> That's a long putt. Edge of oh, circle. No. No Very long putt. What do you think about when you have a putt from here to the basket? In these conditions, I'm laying this up every single time. I, uh, I play very conservative golf when I've got rough conditions like this. So um, in the tournament, I might still be laying it up. That's a, that's a steep side slope. All right, hole three, 312 feet, 95 meters. Pretty obvious what the goal is here. Straight shot the whole way. There was a fade off to the left. We're kind of on a peak of a ridge too. So you really don't want to be left or right. Also the grip out here is going to be kind of, kind of sketchy, we'll see. I like, it's interesting they have all these like pieces of wood attached to the trees. I feel like it's to protect the trees, mm -hmm. probably. Mm -hmm. uh, it's other, it's dead trees. Right. It's old trees yeah. protecting the, the living ones. Yeah. Lift though. Oh, it's too close. Ooh. Oh! That worked? I almost aced it. Kinda. Ah. I got the best kick of my life. Oh, okay. Okay, the end. Yeah, I think the like little baby flex backhand is kind of the play. And being a little right, I think it's better than a little left. So. Oh, oh man. Kinda, I think the slowest you can go to fall disc to keep it straight. Oh, right. You know, it's also too good. Yep. Jeez. Yeah, that'll be pretty good, Goose. I like that little little flex line. Pretty perfect. Just got the tee shot. They're gonna be like 25 feet, but straight up instead of like actually level. Right. I think this is really nice because it actually rewards you for throwing a pretty good shot, yeah. but then like punishes you extra for throwing it kind of bad. So I, I I think it's a really good addition. And if you throw it perfect, it stops you from sliding down too. Yeah. And if you throw it like kind of bad but get lucky off a tree, <laughs> you actually see two feet. I wonder though if you get a meter off this wall because do I up next to it have to like do like a side side stepping thing? Or even like leaning up there? Right. Yeah. Who knows? Alright, 486 feet, 148 meters. Downhill, pretty steep. Slight dog leg. Well, I guess pretty straight, but you kind of are forced to throw it out to the right, so it's gonna play as a dog leg left. OB off to the right, and you got trees long, so the distance control is super important. Which is why I'm gonna go captain draft on. So I did try some Nuke OS's last night at like 10 o'clock, which you can play super late here because the sun doesn't go down. Uh, but my Nuke OS went a little long, so I think 
Well, Fairway's so going to be a little battle for control. Got like a right to left, like tail crosswind too. True. I think it'll help you out. Good point. Well, I only have one disc for this hole, so <laughs> hopefully you don't throw a good one. So here's a quick lesson. This is kind of interesting about this hole. Um, on this tee pad, you almost have to run up this direction. And then once you get to the spot, if you throw your regular backswing, which is right here, as you're coming through, I have to get from this spot over to the right to that gap. So I have to round uh. if I throw it like that. So it kind of forces you into this. And I think right. most players are going to be doing that. They're going to be like here and then have to round and it's harder to hit that gap. Right. Versus if it's more like an Eric Oakley backswing, like if you can get out to here, right. I think that you can keep from rounding. Yeah, because the people who like naturally run up right to left, like yeah, and then just and keep kind of yank everything out. over. That's gonna be easier. This can be help. Or what about just shortening the run up with like a, with a high speed disc? I'm That's gonna try not that. Bad. I'll try that. Go and go and maybe like here, and then you can yeah. actually get your regular. Right. Because ideally, I would be running up from over here. Right. Because that's gonna give me the gap, the aiming at the gap I'm looking for. Yeah. Just huh. a thought. Yeah. Thoughts with Gossage. <laughs> Give me the lift. Yes. Is it enough? Oh, it is. Ooh. Still a little. Oh, still a little long. That was machete. Wow. Wow. I'm trying to baby the new OS. See what happens. And it's half the runoff. Right. Much cleaner release. Good angle. See if the distance is right. It might still be long. Yeah, it's still a little Wow. Long. Mid? I hate, I hate mid. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I think I we want that. I think we want the high speed fade back. Right. That, we won't get enough left either. Let me try it. Let me try a Raptor. Oh wait, maybe fit. Swarm. I'm starting a little too much. Crystal Raptor though. That's mm -hmm. Crystal Raptor. Yep. Yeah, a little better distance. That one's in the circle. All right, I'm gonna try it. Try swarm. Try swarm. I don't think. That's pulled. Maybe with this wind it's possible, but. They go nowhere. I'll oh, watch this one. It might be above the rest, though, guys. Yeah, that looks That's good. actually going to be. That might be 40 feet. It's not bad. I just don't like uh, burning something over. I like I like burning something over. Like on Anheuser. Right. So like, uh, I don't think Buzz OS is stable enough. Stable enough Buzz right. OS. Let me try it. Though. I think I think it's gonna be cap wrap, it's just probably not gonna be this this much tail away. That's gonna pull though. So. Oh, it did not stable. There eventually. See what I mean? The buzzle west is just not quite stable enough for me to really trust that. But the shot's perfect. I mean he is twelve know. he's twelve feet away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I didn't notice about this hole, the OB comes into play if you're too far. So it's not just like you're in the woods, but you could also be out of bounds there. So you definitely want to be shorter, and you definitely want to be more left. So you're trying to say that being like 46 feet left short is perfect? Way better than where I was. That's it. You flamed me for throwing swarm, and it's great. No, dude, you threw the swarm well. I, I just know. couldn't believe that you had the ball to throw. But it is a buzz OS, for sure. Puzzle the rest is good. I think, I think to be fair, without wind like this, I think cap wrap will be ideal, but today's wind, it's hard to hold it. All right, hold on. 175 meters, 574 feet. Again, we got the OB with the line on the left side. We got trees on the right side. And then I guess up by the basket though is tree, tree bunk off to the right and long left, which is also kind of natural OB. Pretty short pole four. I think most people will try to either play like a conservative tee shot with like a turnover backhand, maybe even like a mid range or fairway driver, or a power forehand just to get off to the right side and away from the actual OB, and then uh, ship up to the green from there. But it's short enough to where I think some people might actually play for Eagle. So we might show that shot too, but first I'm gonna throw the forehand, which is my first of the day, so hopefully it's not too painful for me. Look clean. Feels a little tight, but it's gonna walk. Pretty safe high zone. There's a bunch of these mid-distance uh, par fours out here where it's like 600 to like 700 feet, but it's a par four. And I think with uh, players that have a big sidearm, big backhand, they're just gonna be throwing a big hyzer on the shot for placement and then a pretty routine up shot. 
Um, I think getting aggressive on this is a little too aggressive. I think a lot of people are going to like the four hole, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I'd love to see some wall length, but I think a lot of people are going to love this four hole. That was a little early. I like to find the trees. I think it's far enough. It should be good. Should be fine. Mm. Yeah, I thought that would ride out a little bit with the wind. I think it's once it gets, because of how much extreme ante you have to put in it at the beginning, it's like lifting it on that ante. Like it's like flipping the top into more of an ante than, okay. than it is like flexing them. That's what it looked like. I think that, that one I threw was pretty close. If it had just ridden out at all. Definitely started the pan at the end for yep. sure. I think I threw it hard enough though. Oh, this is a great attempt, though. Yeah, that was a good shot. Woo, I didn't quite get all of it, but... Your reward play. is okay. an obstructed 80-footer. Sweet! Congrats! That. Forehand tee shots ended up pretty good. Goose is actually so far away from the trees, too. So you really almost want to throw it as far right off the tee as you can, and it's probably almost impossible to get too far right. Yeah. Well, we got about 220, 230 feet for the top shot. The green is pretty tricky, though. Pretty sloped um, on kind of all sides. So you almost want to be a little bit short. For it to be well, it's actually flat. Land it circles that short. Yeah, so kind of skip up. Yeah, we'll throw it. Anything past like 20 feet, you, you could just go, you could roll away. So, that'd be kind of specific, y'all. Oh. Right. Yeah, I need to throw four. I, I, I realize that too, but I don't want to drive my disc off. You know, it, it was a zone you dried off. You could have just thrown it for you. You know what, yeah. Those are a lot of good ideas. Pretty good touch. Yeah. There you go. What you want. Kind of, kind of boring if you play for if you play for body like this. But hopefully, some people go for eagle and spice the hole up a little bit. Yeah, and hopefully, we get our birdies all three rounds. I mean, great point. It is tricky to actually execute it three right. times. Yeah, you landed yours a little soft, a little short, and you're still in the circle. Right. Versus mine landed probably 35 feet. Right. Know, it is tricky. Like those, are, those are slope right here, which is like 36 feet. So if you hit this, it might just kind of check and stay at 30 feet. If you land on top, then you'll slide to perfect. And if you land like 20 feet, you might skip and then hit that back slope and slide away to like 25, kind of enjoy it. Probably ideally you're throwing an Isaac Robinson turnover putter kind of shot. Ideally, they're throwing an edge route, which is a horrible shot. What are you talking about? Or I guess Actually, no, same, double the same rating now. <laughs> so shout out to the Robinson brothers. Maybe we should be calling it an AB turnover putter shot at this point. He is pretty good with that Luna, yeah. He's... And every other shot. He's good at every shot in the book. He's got it all. 100 meters, 323 feet, 8 feet. Uh, we got a dog leg right. Pretty steep. I think you have to throw either like a backhand turnover or with Aaron and I are going to probably both buy for us. Captain Raptor or Stable Raptor. Try to push it high and then get it to fade right. Today we have some right to left wind, which is going to kind of keep it left at the end. So to try to almost have to try to saw it off. I feel like to get it to yeah. push far enough right. It's also way up a hill, so height is pretty important. They also have a tree in the fairway, in the tee box, so trying to be super pro nature out here, which is pretty sweet. And honestly, it's not even in the way since I don't think anyone's actually going to try to like stalt where this tree is. So it's a good, it's a good, it's a good. If you had to have a tree in any tee box, this is probably the best one to do it. Yeah. Swing! Oh. It's just so like, counterintuitive because you have to like almost miss. You know what I mean? It is like a way more right than you think. I definitely missed on that one. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can make a correction. Not good though. Yeah, it's not far enough though, I don't think. Let's go the back end. It's kind of for funsies because I don't think I'll actually throw it, but it's like a fun shot. Man. That's so good. That was a fun shot. Yay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw one a little harder. Let's see if that helps. So four just seems like it'd be easier because you can actually see the gap the whole time. Yeah. I think that one was pretty good. So I think either one will. I think it's probably going to be kind of split, honestly, backhands, forehands. But I gotta assume if people have a forehand, 
They'll probably get the four yeah. yeah. Yeah, none of our none of our shots turned out very good. My my backhand puddle was like way left. Aon's got a couple of decent shots here kind of at circle's edge. I think this one had to have rolled a little bit. I think there was a possibility that he hit this side this pretty severe slide side slope right here that's just short of the green and then just kind of rolled through the stuff. Also with this wind, like we said, it's really hard to hold far enough right. He goes for the putt and he misses it and it is gone. Well, it's gone, yeah. I mean, you can, this is a pretty uh, precarious little spot to put a basket. The fall off here on this right side is crazy. I think you're going to see some pretty bad rollaways. People just barely miss and then hit a root and then just boop, 100 feet down the hill, up top, back to the basket. Wow. Jeez. Throw a good tee shot is not, oh man. Throw a good tee shot really would be nice. So just like absolutely park it, not to worry about rollaways. That'd before really bad, it's kind of nice too, and then you just right. Up. See, that was my that was my thought with the putter. I just throw it a hundred feet away, easy pitch up to the basket. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. That's wicked. Uh, all right, these tee pads are sick. They got all this like these half logs to make it look natural. It's all built up, so they look super sweet. I think a lot of people, well, some people might complain about some of the drop offs though at the end of the tee box, like we got like four feet here. This one though, they do have a little bit after the tee box for like safety, which is nice. Although, People who have like a big, uh, even Aon, I think Aon has like a big follow through. So it might be kind of a, of, uh, a risk or like a danger risk. A little sketchy though, you like throw, right. step, slide right. off, do the splits, right. die. So. They look sweet though. And like, obviously they put a lot of walk into it. So hats off for that. But I think people will dislike. Hole seven, 193 meters, 633 feet. We got two gaps out the gate, either left or right of this tree in the middle. Pull four uphill the whole way. It does pinch, so if you throw too far off a tee shot and then a little bit left or right, you can pinch yourself off and not have a shot to the green. So I think being a little bit short is actually gonna be fine. So I'm, I'm, I might try the high too. I think I'm gonna go backhand up the middle, to, uh, left side, I guess, for my full shot. Try to land kind of close to those rocks. And uh, being in the fairway is gonna be key though, to, have a, to actually have a shot. That's where I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep, I might keep all right. All right. It's short though. Yeah, you should be good. It's pretty short, so I think I might have a shot. It's just like. If I was any close. further, if I was like another 50 feet further and a little bit to the right, then that corner will actually pinch me off. Let me try the hyzer to start. It's a little low, but it should work out just fine. Oh, it caught the tree. So try to go over that tree, probably. Yeah, just over that one, I think. Definitely a little bit tight of a gap on this this right one. You'll find it. Okay. There it is. Yeah, I wonder if that back wall comes into play though. Yeah, that's all for you. Though. Yeah, that's for sure. Do a little love. Mm hmm That's the right distance. I just gotta throw that, but like higher. So I'm gonna try the cap wrap right side so I can mitigate the mitigate the back wall. That looks really good. That's still so close to those trees, though, is it not? Um, I kind of like this short up shot, this this short tee shot, actually, because if I'm any further on this left side, these little bushes come into play. On the right side, those trees come into play. I have a flippy puddle, guys. I don't think this is going to be good for this wind, but I got a dead straight shot. So if it was not windy, this would be the right disc, but we'll try to make it walk. Oh, not that flippy. Might be putting. Goose might actually have the right disc because he's not an idiot like me. And another tricky green too. This one's yeah. this one's got like a 20 foot radius or so you gotta land on, or it kind of slopes off pretty fast. Well, pick up the soft zone. I'm gonna yank it into Narnia. You also have Wow. It's going to a street. This, this, this full tee shot I had was so close to being too far right. But I think I have a chance to go. Can't go. Too far right? A little right, a little short. I mean, yeah, for being 630 feet, kind of a tough fourth wall, especially with these conditions. Everything's tough. Everything's 
found it. We're all found. We're surviving. Pretty steep slope. You don't want to be over here, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah this is not ideal, I would say. Pretty aggressive slope. Luckily, my new shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think you're going to say par, Ezra. Go I mean, want me to try again? Yeah, please. Yeah. Just like show them what I would do if it was if I was down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving them the full effect here. But I guess you are dead, unfortunately. But that's a scary putt coming back. <laughs> you want me to putt it for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you carry my bag too? This is sweet. <laughs> I don't. This is great. How much can I pay someone to just be me? That'd be you know. Play the tournament for you. Just everything in life. Wow. You know. Feed, feed you. Yeah. Eat no, but you. eat for me. Eat yeah. for you. Eat for there me. It there it is. Travel for me. Yeah. I can just. But then I don't know what I would do. Nothing, I guess. Or you could do double. I'd be really productive. Wow. I'd get really fat. Being right is totally fine. Being a little long is not that bad. Being left sucks. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely the forehand upshot I think is the way to go. Land on the green, skip a little bit to the right, call it good. Welcome to the most challenging hole on the entire course and one of the most difficult holes maybe on two all, I think. We haven't had a good tee shot yesterday, so maybe it's not that impossible, but we got a 241 meter, 791 foot pole four that weaves through trees. It's pretty sick. We have like an open kind of tee shot and then we have a treed like woods gap, like gap tunnel. fairway tunnel shot. And then it kind of opens up again a little bit and then it goes into a wooded green, which is off to the left and super challenging. We got a mando off to the left, OB up to the right. You have to punch something through that gap, and I think distance is actually super helpful with how hard it is to access that green. There's also an OB spot they have to kill you for your second shot. I don't know. It's 791. It's 791 feet. You guys know the trail. <laughs> I'm gonna go nuke, which I don't know if it's gonna walk. I think it's gonna try to skip off and be outside the fairway, but gotta hit the gap, and I want distance, so that's what I'm going with. Also, the wind. Is Horrible. My disc got blown away a little bit. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's in the fairway! What a shot. Wow. How's that feel, Goose? Wow. How's that feel? That was picture perfect, actually. That's clean. The shot was clean. I thought I would have as well. Yeah, the weather's not getting too much better, guys. A little bit, wow. but the this wind is, is still prevailing. Brutal. And then it's just like this mist in our face. Oh, they can tell. It's on the camera, too. <laughs> they're, they're aware. Just like I'm about to mist this shot. Oh. Oh, that doesn't quite work. As much as I missed the shot. You just missed that shot. Missed there you go. that shot. There we go. <laughs> but you did. Oh, you did. Yeah. You just barely missed it. Kind of like how it's barely missing. There you go. There we go. There That's we actually go. good enough. I don't think I need to throw it. <laughs> Still not stable enough. Damn. I got to try Nuco S just to go extra stable. Still put on hyzer. It's so tough to get the. Hit the gap. Right there. Right shape. That's the one if I just threw it in the air. Oh, it's got a great skip though. Yeah, hey, we got one. Do you think anyone's going to go right gap? Heiser? Yeah. No. Neither do I. No. I think everyone's going to go left side. All right, so this one uh, is in the fairway, but it's got this muddy uphill run up. So I'm going to try to stand still and see if I can get over the OB. You know, that OB patch is not on the T sign. Yeah, it really isn't. So I wonder what the situation is. Wow, shots. Yeah, Goose. Yeah, Goose. That's just there dead. was absolutely nothing left side. So that's going to be the scramble of so, its life. So dead. If you were 10 feet fall, that shot becomes so much easier. But still, to get up and down is almost impossible. It's almost tough, man. It's almost tough. You just got to be over this hill. That's the only thing. Wow. Must be nice to you. Sometimes. Some days. Today, I mean, I don't have a hat. I only have one pair of clothes, so not not the best, but can't complain. We got we got a pretty tough shot, y'all. But I'm in the fairway because my drive was perfect. Obviously, really tricky second shot, y'all. I gotta go over the screen. Gotta flex it. Gotta throw it out to the left. Flex it back to the right, and then fade back the exact right spot into like a 25 foot gap to get to the basket. And if we're not in that gap, so many trees next to the basket, so very difficult, but. Uh, it is possible. So. Close. Turn it more, Eddie. Turn it. Too cool. bad you're dead. 
these these uh, run ups are tough, man. Holy cow! There's another wicked. Yeah, that's it. I threw it well. I just threw it too low. Yeah, when, when you, I was thinking like, oh man, he threw that well when I saw that shot too, but oh. that's exact how it's been described. I also thought that I lost my uh, sports, my European Open sports sack, but uh, it's in my bag. It was like only my towels, so I got a grip. There it is. It's actually really nice on wet days like this. That might be a pot. I actually ended up pretty solid. I fought through like all these millions of trees just outside of circle one, honestly. Yeah, if you go a little left and short early, as long as you get through and you've got like a jump putt, you should be able to get up and down. Oh, Bonnie! Oh, oh tragic. Gosh. Or you could just throw a perfect tee shot followed by a perfect second shot and then a perfect putt. See, just someone, like that. Someone could, yeah. See, first try, first tee shot, first second shot, first putt, That's lost it. the birdie. That's it. So hole, but not impossible. I do think, I do think that most people that body this hole though, unfortunately, will kind of just like get lucky tool and like fight through this stuff kind of like I did. And there's gonna be some people that hit this gap and get body, but I think the majority is gonna be like, Somehow. Right. right, I think that it's still gonna be your high percentage play. I I don't, I, don't, I don't think you should aim for the short by any means, but I like it. I think it's a good hole. I, I think, think it's a good hole too. Very yeah. challenging. T shot. I don't know. I feel like it's like maybe we'll throw in too fast of a disc into that fairway. I feel like the T shot's kind of fluky to end up actually in the middle. Yeah. But we need to try it more. I think if we throw a slow disc, maybe it'll be. All right, hole nine. 85 meters, 279 feet. Uphill the whole way, two main gaps, left or right of this central clump of trees. OB behind the basket, but shouldn't come into play unless you throw a fairway driver. So I think most people are gonna go mid-range, so it shouldn't be an issue. Slope to play with. I think if you go left, there is another kind of secondary tree behind that clump you have to miss. So I think the, the ideal gap, in my opinion, is probably gonna be this right side with kind of a stable mid. Thrown basically flat, maybe a touch of Annie, and then have it kind of fade off before it gets to that, that kind of back wall right before the, the basket, so. I got a new nebula in the bag. Let's see how this one flies on the shot. Watch the skip though. Not good. It looks really short and it says only like 285 or 279. It plays like all of 350, I think. I feel like the uphill isn't necessarily translated as well on camera too. Yeah. But it's a long way. More uphill than it probably looks. That's so close, dude. So close, but so bad, man. God. Did you it's, say like we, it's like we threw the same shot. Did you say so bad after the shot I saw you throw? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Mine was actually really close. I went right through the, right through the club of trees I'm trying to go on either side of. This left side, this left gap is kind of fun, though. I just don't think it's as good, but. Holy frick, that's wow. such of a miss. There you go. That was so close, but I clipped the branch, kicked straight left. Did it really? Never to be found again. Yeah, good shot though. You know, when you can't hit a gap to save your life, the only gap that's open is the one in the sky. <laughs> he still missed it. He still, he missed the sky, guys. He <laughs> missed the sky. <laughs> That's depressing. Oh, wow. Man. Oh, man. I was, was thinking, I was like, man, it'd be nice if you Jake Wolf on this shot. I was like, wait, I can throw a grenade. Nope. Oh, that's too good, man. You can't make Where that up. I you enjoyed it. Yeah, a little lower. Give me the skip. It Ooh. does. Any skip, at least. All right, guys, the only gap that's actually. <laughs> How is it going that far right out of my hand? How does that make any sense?
I, well, this can't not walk. I think the thing is, it's probably impossible to get far enough, but... Throw it forward. I have to go so flippy, so I can throw it left. Yeah. That's going to be CTP, Goss. How's yeah. that feel? Yeah, that gap shouldn't be as hard to hit as I made it look. But I really like that. You take away this, this like the, the necessity to skip well up this hill. I'm kind of surprised I was able to get far enough. I mean, Goss, you know, threw good tee shots, and he's just, he's still, he's still looking for him. He can't even find him. <laughs> yeah. I think that was my best one of the bunch. I had no idea where it went. Grenade. Grenade's the play, never doubt. <laughs> that, that backhand rattle, though, that Alan threw, is also pretty nice. Not bad. The only thing is, I feel like you do risk, if you potentially throw it a little bit too high, then get a straight skip, you could find the OB long. Maybe. But. Yeah, you're definitely bringing ground play into, into action. Right. Into into the shot but so far pretty sweet quals i think i think it's gonna play great i think people are gonna love it it's aesthetically super cool i think it's one of the most beautiful quals you'll see the back 19 on a second on alien's channel so go check that out we got nine holes left thank you joy for filming thank you morton for helping out super clutch would have been way more difficult without you guys so this is so nice and yeah. uh thanks for watching make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one you open open but false go to alien's channel from back nine